Hi, I'm Sam Zaldivar. I am 15. I am homeschooled, and I am in the classical dance category. I was seven, and my sister danced a lot, and so I was always at the studio. And actually, on my seventh birthday, she actually like forced me to take a class. Well, we didn't have a little boy who liked to dance, but we had a daughter who liked to dance, and she just, you know, encouraged him to start dancing, and he had to be there all the time, so he figured he'd give it a shot. He actually started to dance and then left it. When I was nine, I went to Youth America Grand Prix the first time, and I just saw so many other dancers my age, and I saw that they had already committed their lives to it, and they were doing so much more than what I was doing with it, and I realized that I needed to be doing what they were doing. Like, it wasn't a choice anymore. I felt like I had to be doing that. And um, that was when we gave him the choice. We actually had signed him up for his fourth year of soccer. Um, I wasn't particularly good at soccer, though, and I think that's part of the reason when I found dance, and it was something that came naturally. I just felt such a strong connection to it. And he chose to drop, so drop out of soccer and start studying dance. And you know, fortuitously, that's when we found Dimitri and Jennifer. Well, where, where should we start? We should start I with five started. years ago. He, was, he came uh, as a little boy. We saw, like, wow, we have a first boy now. And when he showed up in, in ballet academy, we were like, wow. Later on, we saw him in ballet class. We were like, oh, my, this Beautiful God, boy feet. has talent, you know. Yeah. It definitely takes a lot of work to keep yourself in good shape. Well, he's so dedicated. I mean, his whole life, it's ballet. You have to think about, like, it's not just class. It's after class. You have to make sure that you're stretching and that you're keeping your muscles relaxed. You have to do it before class. You have to make sure that you're partially warm before class. You have to go to physical therapy when you're hurt. You have to do exercises to strengthen muscles that are weak on yourself. You have to eat a healthy diet. I mean, it's not easy. You have to make sure you're getting tons of sleep. He's just perfect born ballet It's natural. Dancer. He makes it look so easy and effortless. And that's part of this facility, but then the way he comes out with it, his artistry in it, he just has a natural ability and it just draws people in. Well, I'm doing Flames of Paris and variation from La Female Garde. It's more of a peasant piece. Uh, it doesn't have very much like bravado. It's just more about like, it's kind of like you're just performing for a small group like in a town square. That's the feeling that you're trying to get. You don't want the audience to see that it's you. You want to let a little bit of you through, but you want the audience to see it's a variation of the character that you're playing. Yeah, my sister, um, Alex, she's still dancing. She's at SUNY Purchase in New York. She's definitely proud of me. I always try when I'm at competitions to be like friendly, but you would not believe the number of dirty looks you'll get when you're trying to be friendly at a ballet competition. But Spotlight's great because it's not, it doesn't feel like a, it's not a competition, it's an audition. Like, and you don't feel like you're competing with other people, you feel like you're competing with yourself to do the best that you can do.